New York City's Chinatown is world famous, but here in the East Village, Japanese food has found a home, and one family owns 11 restaurants. It's time to take a tour of Little Tokyo. Sakura, before anyone takes a tour of Little Tokyo, they need to know about the unofficial mayor of Little Tokyo, your dad, without whom there would probably be no Little Tokyo. It actually all started in 1984 when my father opened up Hasaki. Still open, still, still rocking. Still open, which is a big feat in New York City. To say the least. And then we expanded from there. We have 18 restaurants in total all over Manhattan. But most of our locations are based in the East Village. It's pretty much everything that my father misses about Japan. <laughs> he just kind of opens up restaurants. This place, Sakagura East Village, is our newest one. Have you visited Japan and experienced food culture there? I used to spend the summers there um, and go to school, which was not fun. <laughs> but I did get to explore a lot of the different food cultures and just culture in general. It's made me more confident in calling myself Japanese, even though I lived here my entire life. What's the most challenging aspect of uh, working with your dad? I think like in any job, communication is always such a difficult thing. Do you guys argue in Japanese? I actually started speaking to him in Japanese at work just because it's not as fluent for me and so I have to stop and think about what I have to say <laughs> and so I can control my emotions. Who knew a language barrier would come in so handy? <laughs> That's true. But I think it's one of the most rewarding jobs that I could have just to be able to interact with my father and my family every day. My brother and my mother also work in the business. Well, I'm really excited because today we get to check out three of your family's completely unique concepts and we're going to prove that Japanese food is a lot more than just sushi and ramen. I think it's time to get this food tour started. All right, let's go. So we're here on 10th Street at High Collar. There's a lot more than meets the eye happening inside. Yeah, during the daytime, we serve yoshoku, uh, which is Japanese Western food, including omurice, mentaiko pasta, hotcakes. We also have a great kisaten style coffee program that we're really proud of. And at nighttime, it changes into a sake bar. You said the magic word, and it's not sake, <laughs> it's omu rice. I am so excited to dig in. Okay, explain quickly what this is and why I'm holding this big knife. Well, before we explain it, we need to cut it. Okay. Oh, there it there goes. You go. Oh, that steam is So it's a perfect. cheese omelet. Yes, it's on top of ketchup rice, and it's... you'll see it when you scoop it up. Look at that cheese pull. That is the most beautiful omelet I have ever tasted. It's a combination of the best of both worlds. Well, you've got the Food Adventure seal of approval, and we're actually gonna go next door and see some more food that the Japanese took from the West and made better. Yes, definitely. Next up is Korea. Here you're known for Japanese curry, and you don't expect to hear those two words together, but your curry is actually not from India. No, the base of our curry is the British, which took Indian curry and made it their own. And then the Japanese took that version of curry and made it our own. So it's a little bit sweeter. It's definitely something that every person has their opinion on. Right. And kind of like what um, tomato sauce is to Italians. There is so much goodness happening right now. You have to explain so the world understands. The katsu curry with Brookshire pork and also the vegetable medley curry, which is a baked curry. Rice and cheese and our curry roux and seasonal vegetables topped with an egg. Look at that cheesy goodness all collapsing in on itself. That is amazing. <laughs> is that mm. your cheese dance? It didn't have a name until now, but that is definitely the cheese dance. You want to do it with me? Mm. That's the cheese dance right there because this is like one of the most incredible sinful indulgences. On a winter night, <laughs> this is just so perfect. Now normally most people would stop eating after a meal like this, but we're professionals. Let's bring on the next stop. Let's go. Here at Ozafuku Meritai, we serve takoyaki and okonomiyaki, yakisoba, and taiyaki. All the best street food that's in one right, place. That's right. I can't wait to see the takoyaki in action. It's impossible not to smile the moment they're in your hands. Oh yeah, for sure. 
so many amazing flavors and textures there. A little bit of tang, then the bonito comes through with some smoky, then you get the nice fresh octopus, and then the ginger, the scallion. It's just such a happy, fun dish. Well, Sakura, this was truly an eye-opening experience and really a food adventure for anyone who's willing to come down to the East Village and check out Little Tokyo for themselves. Such a great time. Are you ready for more? <laughs> 15 more restaurants? That's right. Do I at least get a t-shirt or something if I go to all of them? I'll think about it. Well, you better make it an extra large.